Alright everybody, welcome back to my Walt Disney Classics 40th Anniversary Special, in which we're going to be playing another CD-ROM game this time, and I've picked the 1998 PC version of Jeopardy. Let's see how we do. Most importantly, let's have a great game. There we go. I guess it's somewhere now. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Okay. Set the game up exactly the way you like. Everybody check Alex's monitor. Have we got sound yet? You all set? Let's go. Normal game. Okay, so how many people are out there? We'll make sure you have some good competition. Player one, what's your name? Player one has the space bar. Oh, I forgot. All right, let's go. And now, here is your host for Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Hello, everyone. It's time for Jeopardy. So good luck to all of our players. Thank you. I bet you can't wait to see the categories. Well, here they are. Museums. Royalty. Movie debuts. Music. Plants and trees. Celebrities. Speak. All right, player one, start us off. Let me speak 100, please. When an actress asked what her best side was, this lifeboat director said, My dear, you're sitting on it. Player one? Who's up for Hitchcock? That's it, exactly. Let me speak for 200. It's your turn, player one. Sam Goldwyn reportedly said, a producer shouldn't get these stomach disorders. He should give them. Player one? Ulcers. Correct. Celebrity speak for 300, please. Answer? <laughs> Player Bailey. one. Please make your wish. Uh, 500. Howard Hughes said of this movie star, his ears made him look like a taxi cab with both doors open. Who is Clark? Gable. That's correct. When she won an Oscar for Tipsy, she was grateful to have Dustin Hoffman as my leading lady. Player one? Who is Jessica Lang? Correct. Woody Allen said, It's not that I'm afraid to do this. I just don't want to be there when it happens. Player one? Let's die. Yes. Movie to be is 100. Albert Brooks debuted in this Martin Scorsese film, but Robert De Niro was in the driver's seat. Player one? One is taxi driver. Yes, indeed. Movie debuts for 200. Player one, it's your turn. This sleepless in Seattle star played Candace Bergen's daughter in Rich and Famous. Player one? Who is Meg Ryan? That's correct. Movie debuts for 300. 
Discovered at Dublin's Abbey Theatre, he was cast as Sir Gawain in Excalibur. Schindler's List came later. Player one? Who's Liam Neeson? Why, yes. Are we going to be 400? While a drama student in Sydney, he made his screen debut as a shy surfer in 1977's Summer City. Player one? Who is Mel Gibson? Correct. Maybe to be 500. Carrie Fisher's first film was Shampoo, and Ricky Lakes was named for this other hair care product. Player one? What is hairspray? Correct. Museum's 100. The Drottning Home Theater and Museum in this Swedish city is a well-preserved 18th century theater. Player one? What is Stockholm? Correct. Museums for 200. All right, player one. The Canadiana Collection is part of the Royal Ontario Museum in this city. Player one? What is Toronto? That's correct. Um, On April 14, 1984, nearly 120,000 people visited this branch of the Smithsonian, the one-day record for any museum. Player three. What is the Air and Space Museum? Yes, indeed. Think so. This Dutch flower's name is from the Turkish for turban. Player one. What is a tulip? Correct. Uh, let's have a... Uh... There are two species of the bristle cone type of this tree, Great Basin and Rocky Mountain. What is the one? tree? Yes! The prickly pear type of this plant is so named because its fruit is pear-shaped. Player one? Cactus. That's it. Uh, let's have what will it be, player place. one? Scientists divide the 450 species of this tree into three groups, white, red, and ringed. What is it? Player one? Tree. Correct. Place the tree for 500. Vanilla has been cultivated in this North American country for hundreds of years. Player one? Uh, what is Mexico? Yes, indeed. All right. Museum for 400. The Cooper Hewitt Museum is located in the former New York City mansion of this Scottish-born steel magnet. Player one? Who is Andrew Carnegie? That's it. Museum 500. In 1909, King Edward VII opened the new building of this London Museum of Decorative and Fine Arts. Player two? What is the Victoria and Albert Museum? I think so. Exactly. Ananamet I founded this country's 12th dynasty in 1991. That's 1991 B.C. Player one? What is Egypt? That's correct. Royalty for 200? Player one, you choose. This princess, born March 23, 1990, is the younger sister of Princess Beatrice of York. Player two? Who is Eugenie? Yep. Yes. Clef symbol that resembles an ampersand. Player two? What is the treble clef? I think so. That's it. In 1898, this great Italian tenor created the role of Loris in Giordano's opera Fedora. Player two? Who is Enrico Caruso? I think so. Yes. These include triads, seventh, mystic, and Petrushka. Player three? What are chords? Correct. In 1599, Albert, Archduke of Austria, married the Infanta of this country. Player three. What is Spain? So now I was thinking too. That's right. Player three, you choose. This Dutch queen's second daughter, Princess Irene, married a Spanish prince in 1964. Player two. Who is Juliana? You are correct. The Italian term for a gradual increase in loudness. It's used to mean a climactic point. Player one. What is crescendo? You are correct. Awesome. This woodwind instrument is made of brass and was patented in Paris in 1846. Player one. Saxophone. Right you are. Last clue.
This South American country's second and last emperor, Pedro II, was forced to abdicate in 1889. Yes. Player one? What is Brazil? Yes. All right. That takes us to the end of this well, round. Nobody missed anything that round. Everybody got a clue right. Player one? You're on some kind of roll. See if we can keep it going. Okay, let's get on to the Double Jeopardy round. Let's do it. Let's see if you like these categories in the Double Jeopardy round. Let's find out. Highways and byways. Religion. Holidays and observances. Old movies. Mama. Song standards. And the Roman Empire. Your choice, player three. The name of this famous street is French for Avenue of the Elysian Fields. Player one. What is the Champs-Élysées? Why, yes. Uh, let's take highways and byways for 400. The Passetto, a fortified corridor, connects Castel San Angelo with this city. Player one. What is Vatican City? Yes, indeed. How is it, how is it about 600, please? The answer is a video daily double. Okay. Player one, please make your wager. I'll do 2,500. The oldest public park in the U.S. is between Beacon and Tremont Streets. Here's your clue. Take a look. What is Boston Common? Why, yes. That's the one. I your choice, the player one. This city's Unterden Linden was laid out to connect the Royal Palace with the Tiergarten. Player what one? What is Berlin? To be sure. Got it. The sacred way zigzagged from the entrance of this oracle's ancient sanctuary to the Temple of Apollo. Player two? What is Oracle of Delphi? Correct. Yes. In this religion, the supreme sin of shirk Polytheism, or the denial of Allah's unity, is unforgivable. Player three. What is Islam? That's what I was thinking. Yes. She met Mark Anthony in Cilicia in 41 B.C., and they became lovers. Player one. Who is Cleopatra? Yes. The Roman Empire for 400, please. This volcano near Pompeii served as a refuge for slaves during the revolt of Spartacus. Player one. What is Mount Vesuvius? Yes. That's the one. Roman Empire Second. Player one, it's your turn. <laughs> Roman me. girls wore this famous garment until they married and adopted the stola, or matron's dress. What is it? Player one. Yeah. That's it. The Roman Empire for 800, please. Answer. Player one. Player one. Please make your way. Uh, she died. Under Augustus, this governmental body retained the privilege of minting all copper coinage. Senate? Yes. And Roman Empire is over. In 26 AD, he succeeded Valerius Gratus as procurator of Judea. Player two? Who is Pontius Pilate? I think so. Yes. On this holiday in 1929, Al Capone's gang killed several members of Bugs Moran's gang. Player one. What is Valentine's Day? That's correct. A uh, holidays and observances for 400. The French exchange gifts on this day, which they call Le Jour de l'An. Player one. What is Boxing Day? Good guess, but that's wrong. Player is that two. right? What is New Year's? That's correct. Oh, New Year's. Okay. Okay, player two. Betty Davis gave a memorable performance as a socialite dying of a brain tumor in this 1939 film. Player one. It was Dark Victory. That's it. Old movies for 400. In this Jerome Kern bio, Till the Clouds Roll By, Frank Sinatra sang this classic from Showboat. Player one. What is old? River. Yes, indeed. Old movies for 600. Director Otto Preminger took over from Ruben Mamoulian on this 1944 Gene Tierney murder mystery. Oh, Player one. Laura. Correct. 
He directed and starred in 1948's The Lady from Shanghai. Player one? You are correct. He was Captain Blood and Robin Hood in the 1930s. In 1940, he was the Seahawk. Player one? He was Errol Flynn. Correct. Holidays and observances for 600. Player one, you choose. In 1915, President Wilson proclaimed this holiday as the second Sunday in May. Player one? What is Mother's Day? Yes! It's celebrated as an International Labor Day, as well as a spring festival. Player one? What is May Day? Yes! Okay. All in the thousand. September 10 is St. George's Key Day in this Central American country. Player two? What is Belize? Belize. Correct. Someday My Prince Will Come is from this 1937 film. Player one? What is Snow White the Seven Dwarfs? Yes! Song standards for 400. Nothing could be finer than to be here in the morning. Player three. What is Carolina? You are correct. Okay, player three. The new fire ceremony was performed every 52 years by this Mexican civilization. Player one. Who were the Aztecs? That's correct. Religion for 600. In 1995, a six-year-old boy in this Chinese-occupied region was identified as the reincarnated Panchen Lama. What Player is one? Tibet? Yes! Religion 800. Rituals in this popular religion of Haiti are led by a Hungan, a priest, or a Mambo, a priestess. What Player one? Voodoo. That's correct. correct. Religion 1000. The Jewish Talmud was written in Hebrew and in this language. Player two? What is Aramaic? Think That's so. correct. This Errol Garner song begins, Look at me, I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. Player three. What is Misty? Correct. What will it be, player three? This song's lyrics contain such names as Suki Tawdry, Jenny Diver, Polly Peachum, Lucy Brown. Player three. What is Mac the Knife? Exactly. Last clue. I was waltzing with my darling to this song when an old friend I happened to see. Player two? What is the Tennessee Waltz? Yep. Why, yes. Final Jeopardy. That's the end of Double Jeopardy. Still got runaway lead. Player one? This is a little anticlimactic, I know, but here goes. Here's the category for Final Jeopardy. World Facts. Here's the Final Jeopardy answer. Good luck, players. I'm ready. That's my answer. Your question, player three. Yep. Right you are. And what did you wager? Now you're showing off. Well, I'm the only one the winner. Player two, let's take a look at your question. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Sometimes you get a tough one. Yes, you do. Your question, player one. Very good. Now, what was your wager? You're putting on quite a show. And I'll see you all in the next game. Good game. Thank you all so much for playing Jeopardy. Bye for now. Out of here already? Yep.